Today, senior military leaders from Indonesia and the United States officially closed the first direct military-on-military -military training event since the U.S. ban on such training in 1999. Fire! The training conducted in Bandung with the Indonesian Air Force was called a Joint Combined Exchange of Training, often known as adjacent and routinely familiar with many Pacific military. Soldiers with the 1st Special Forces Group came to the country to train and redevelop a relationship with the Indonesian military during this Pacific Command exercise, following the State Department's lead. Recently, the, uh, the progress that, uh, that they've made uh, with regard to reform politically and economically has, uh, has removed some obstacles to our working with them, and that's a good news story. Uh, as I said, uh, an important country. It's the third largest democracy in the world. It's the largest Muslim population in the world. Uh, and more importantly, it's had a history of, of being a moderate voice in, in the Islamic community, Islamic world. So working with Indonesia is absolutely in our best interest. And uh, this J set has been significant because of that. It marks the, the first time that we've been able to come back in here. For three weeks, soldiers worked with the Indonesian Air Force Special Operations members, teaching them close-quarter battle, crisis action planning, and advanced life-saving. Okay. Students are now going through their final exercise. So they call it the stress test, and it culminates all the training they've had the past two and a half days of training here. It gets them ready for close-quarter battle. Yep. Uh, this is, it's definitely a solid relationship that we're establishing uh, with the Indonesians here. Uh, this is a, a big milestone for us to conduct training uh, alongside the Indonesian Armed Forces, and hopefully the deployment of our detachment will be the first step for uh, future deployments as well. All in all, the training is designed to promote a healthy relationship with the two militaries, as well as increase the capacity of the Indonesian military. The success in the war on terror is uh, very much dependent on, uh, on being able to work with uh, our counterparts, helping them develop their capabilities so that they can protect their interests. And that's what this JSET was all about. Uh, we were able, to, as I said, to, uh, to work directly with the Air Force Special Ops folks and uh, help them build capacity that in turn will allow them to, uh, to fight their uh, their war on terror and, and protect their, their vital interests here in Southeast Asia. Indonesian First Lieutenant Togat Sibiryan was in charge of the Indonesians during the training and conveyed that the training they received was just as important as the bonds that were forged. Of course, of course, absolutely, because, you know, the first thing, uh, yeah, we, we met a new friends. And the second one, I think that we learn so many things that maybe we haven't learned about it before. Because if you come back down, that gives them a chance to get ready to shoot you. So we should thanks to God that the relationship between the two countries, Indonesia and America, in the form of education and training, which is one stop, then reopened in 2005. The purpose of this activity is to improve our soldier professionalism and we are looking forward for having this program again and again next future. This first military to military training event with Indonesia will serve as an important stepping stone to strengthen the military ties between Indonesia and the U.S. Corporal Jeremy Vaught, Bandung, Indonesia.